Dost thou not suspect my place? Dost thou not suspect my years? Oh, that he were here to write me down an ass? But, masters, remember that I am an ass. <laughs> Though it be not written down, forget not that I am an ass. <laughs> oh, Sir John, at what price is your indulgence? Mm. Good sherry sack. <laughs> Hath a twofold operation in it. It ascends me to the brain. <laughs> Drives me there all the foolish, dull, and cruddy vapors which environ it. Makes it apprehensive, quick, fortitive, full of nimble, fiery, and delectable shape. Oh, she loves me. Sure. The cunning of her passion invites me in this churlish messenger. None of my lord's ring. Why? I gave her none. I am the man. <laughs> and if so, poor lady would better love a dream. Oh, disguise, I see thou art a wickedness wherein the pregnant enemy does much. Out of this wood do not desire to go. Thou shalt remain here, whether thou wilt or no. I am a spirit of no common rate. The summer still doth tend upon my state. And I do love thee. Therefore, go with me. I'll give thee fairies to attend on thee, and they shall fetch thee jewels from the deep, and sing whilst thou on crescent flowers dost sleep. And I will purge thy mortal grossness, so that thou shalt like an airy spirit go. Let's talk of brain. Worms and epitaphs. Make dust our paper and with rainy eyes write sorrow on the bosom of the earth. Let's choose executors and talk of wills. And yet not so. For what can we bequeath save our deposed bodies to the ground? Our lands, our lives, and all our bowling brooks, and nothing can we call our own but death. And that small model of the barren earth which serves as paste and cover to our bones. For God's sake, let us sit upon the ground and tell sad stories of the death of kings. But tell me, were you not sent for? Is it a free visitation? Is it of your own inclining? Come, deal justly with me. Come, come, nay, speak. I'll lay fourteen of my teeth, or my teen be it spoken, I have but four. Come, Lammas Eve at night shall she be fourteen. Susan and she, God rest all Christian souls, were of an age. Well, Susan is with God. She was too good for me. But as I said, come Lammas Eve at night shall she be fourteen. That shall be Mary, I remember it well. To since the earthquake now eleven years, and she was weaned, I never shall forget it of all the days of the year upon that day. For I had then laid wormwood to my dung, sitting in the sun under the dove house wall. My lord and you were then at Mantua. Nay, I do bear a brain, but as I said, come Lammas Eve at night shall she be fourteen. For then she could stand alone. Nay, by the root she could have run and waddled all about, for even the day before she fell and broke her brow, and then my husband, God be with his soul, who was a merry man, took up the child. Yea, quoth he, dost thou fall upon thy face? Thou wilt fall backward when thou hast more wit, wilt thou not, Jewel? And by my only name, the pretty wretch left crying, he said, I to see now how a jest shall come about. I warrant it I live a thousand years, I never shall forget it. <laughs> <laughs>